Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to use three different picker, picker view for three different UI text fields in Xcode 11 and Swift 5. This tutorial should work with Xcode 10 and Swift 4. Here I already created a sample project, so let's see. So first is select country, second select favorite color, and third is select favorite sport. So select country, let's select USA, select favorite color, blue, and select favorite sport will be, let's say cricket. And man, really simple, really easy. Let's get started. Here I already have my Xcode open, so I'll create a new Xcode project and I'll say single view app and this will be three picker view and make sure the language is Swift and user interface is storyboard and hit next and save it wherever you like. I will save it under recording and create. So here I'll say iPhone 11, that'd be that. And so first we need three text fields from object library, I'll drag and drop the first one and then you can just duplicate. So keep uh, select your text field and hit command D and D again. So, and now we need to give some constraints. Put this on the top and here, first one. So this will be 30 from the left, 30 from the right and let's say 350 from the bottom and height will be 34, that's fine. Uh, next one will be this one and this will be 30 from left, 30 from right and let's say 10 from the bottom and height will be 34 again. And this one again, the same thing. So 30 from the left, 30 from the right and 10 from the bottom and height of 34, add four constraints. Next thing we need to do is we need to uh, connect this to our view controller. So let's do that, assistant editor. And first will be our country text field. Next one is our color text field, color text field. And the last one is our sport text field and hit connect. So we are done with the storyboard part close assistant editor, I'll get rid of this and let's hop over to our view controller. So command shift O and we will type in view controller. Uh, I already copied my variables. So uh, it's just like three arrays with strings. Next, we need to create three different, uh, three unique picker views. So picker view is equal to you. UI picker view and this one and parentheses. The next one will be color picker view and this one will be UI picker view again and parentheses. And this one is sports picker view and UI picker view here. So let's just keep it consistent. So color and sport. Next thing is uh, we need to assign, let's first assign input view to our text field. So this will be country text field dot input view is equal to, so make sure you assign correct picker view to correct text field. So this will be country picker view. Next one will be color text field dot input view and color picker view and this one is sport text field dot input view is equal to sport picker view. Next thing, let's, uh, okay. We need to assign delicate and data source. So this will be country, uh, country. So country picker view dot delegate is equal to self country picker view dot data source is equal to self and here let's just copy this and so we save some time and paste and paste again and this one will be color picker view this one will be color picker view and this one is sport picker view again this one will be sport picker view 
So we did this, let's create extension for protocol. So this will be extension for our view controller and we'll confirm to picker view data source and picker view delegate so that we get rid of this error. So in order to confirm to UI picker view data source, we need uh, one function, like it's a mandatory, but we do need like, okay, there are two functions which are mandatory. Okay, let me go ahead and so number of components and number of rows in components, we already have that. The another two ones, uh, another two are title for row and another one is did select. So did select is part of UI picker view delegate. Uh, number of components, it will be a constant. So it will always be one for all the three picker views. So that's easy. Next thing we will do is assign number of rows in component. Okay, another thing, we need to give tag to each and every text field. Uh, so we uh, we need to give tag to each and every picker view. So country picker view dot tag will be one. And uh, color picker view dot tag will be two. And sport picker view dot tag will be three. So let's go ahead and here we will do switch. So this is number of rows in component and switch st statement. And this one will be picker view dot tag. And now here we will have three cases, like four cases, including default. So this one, another one is case two and same thing and case three over here and same thing. So here we will code some stuff. So if it's, like default, then there's some problem and we will return one. First one, so uh, case one is that, so this is picker view dot tag. So case one will be our country picker view. So here we will say return countries dot count. And here we'll say return color dot count. And this one will be return sports dot count and we are good to go so let's just copy this and paste it in title and we'll so here we will return just do square brackets and here we will pass in row so this row comes from here so that like so swift knows which uh, row like which title to display for which row so it's just swift magic and so for here, just copy this part and we will paste it here and here. So we can go ahead and test this out and see how it works. So command and run. Uh, return run, cannot run. Okay, here we will say uh, data not found. And now we are good to go and hit run. So let me close this. This one was my tester. So let's, uh, until it loads, let's do this. We need to assign placeholders so that we know which field we are selecting. So country text field dot placeholder and this will be select country and let's copy this and paste and paste. And this will be color text field and this will be select favorite color and this one is our sports text field and this will be select favorite sport and so our app is loaded here if you select the first one we get countries second we get colors and third we get sports so we assign the placeholders and next thing we need to do is like, we need to center align the test, uh, text because I think when you will select the text, it will be like left align. So let's do that as well. So country text field dots uh, text alignment and this will be dot center. Copy this and paste, paste and this will be color 
text field. Yeah, a lot of repetitive stuff, but this works. So this should be fine. Let's, okay. The thing is, so if you notice here, what like even if we end up selecting something, we don't see it on the text field. So we need to do that. That, uh, that part will do under did select row. So the same thing, copy this and paste it over here. And first one we will, so first we need to assign the text to our text field and then we will resign the first responder. That means we will uh, dismiss the picker view. So first one is country text field dot text. And this one is countries and square and a uh, row. And here we will dismiss country text field dot resign first responder and copy this part and paste it over here and over here. So second one will be color text field and color text field and make sure you change the array. So this will be color and this one was sports sport text field and sport text field and make sure you change it over here so sport s yep got it so let's run the app and here we get so here we just return you know no action and let's run the app and select country, let's select UK, favorite color will be blue and select favorite sport, let's say football. So pretty simple. If you have any questions, you can post them in comments. If you like my video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe for future content. Until next time.